If I asked you to reflect on your time with Liddell, were there any big achievements or moments which stand out in your mind? So in this case, while I'm drawing each subject, we're also doing an interview. So I'll be talking to them about their time, their experience, their social networks, their antics, their memories. And in doing so, capturing that audio file, we're gonna package them up, we're gonna pull out the key moments, and alongside the drawing of each person is going to be a QR code. So the final product is a, an audience member or a visitor can come along, scan that QR code with their phone and listen to the character they're looking at telling us a little tidbit from their personal story. I believe Liddell was the biggest employer of females around here, so, so it opened the door. Can we be frank about what that was like for you? Like how well received? Oh, how... it wasn't well received at all. We yeah. had men that did not want you in the workshop. I think it's pretty exciting that a lot of Hunter locals will see themselves in this piece. They'll see people they know, they'll hear stories they know, they'll listen to connections to site that are familiar to them. But I think for people outside the Hunter, what's exciting about this project is the chance to think about Liddell and Musselbrook and the Hunter Valley from a human perspective. This isn't just a football in a, a political and environmental war game. This is people's lives, people's livelihoods, people's existence, people's values. And that's um, something really exciting to be sharing and getting our teeth into.